Gymshark, I have a serious question. What exactly did your loyal fans do to piss you off? Who hurt you? What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. That is right, today we are roast, I mean, <laughs> reviewing Gymshark's most hated collection. Hey, they said it, I did not. As if we didn't think coming out with the first What The Flex was bad enough, they came out with yet another, round two, What The Flex. It's maniacal, it's diabolical, it's something, all right? Gymshark pretty much took one of their most beloved collections, the Flex Collection. It's super popular. They took that collection, put it in a big pile, poured a little bit of gasoline on top, lit that match, and walked away. It's like the Flex Collection had an evil twin that nobody knew about, and now it's here to rear its ugly ass head. I'll bet you this is what people in the 1950s thought that people in 2022 were gonna be wearing, like the Jetsons. I mean, look at this pattern. The one I'm wearing, it looks like a basketball that's been left out in the sun way too long. I feel like this is something that Tom Cruise has to wiggle his way through just to get through security. And don't even get me started on the cyborg design. Have you guys seen the Queen's Gambit? This looks like what she saw at night when she was on drugs. Looking up at her ceiling, this was it. This is a game of chess or checkers, except nobody wins. Boom, roasted. They say you're only supposed to roast the ones you love, and I think it's safe to say we all love Gymshark here. And with that being said, thank you so much to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video and allowing us to have a little bit of fun. So here's the deal, Gymshark came out with two new patterns to add to the What The Flex collection. If you guys remember from the last What The Flex review on this channel, they had two patterns come out then as well. You can tell that last launch was very 60s inspired. You had the wavy print and you had the chevron. The responses on that video were so bad. I don't think a single soul actually liked that collection. Everybody hated it. You guys were like, mm, no, not for me. I'm never gonna wear it. Gymshark, get it out of here. So it's looking like Gymshark was aware of that. <laughs> <laughs> and they did the opposite, and now they've branded the What The Flex collection as the most hated Gymshark collection of them all. The one that you love to hate. But I do have to say, they mix things up a lot since the last What The Flex launch. In terms of material, in terms of style, and all of that, there's no 60s vibes going on here. Now, they did the opposite. It's now very futuristic. I teased this particular print on Instagram and TikTok, and I can't even believe it. I'm a little bit shocked that the responses aren't as bad as I thought they would be. You guys are actually vibing with this a little bit, and I gotta admit, so am I. <laughs> it's, got, it's got something I like about it. And I know we're doing some serious roasting in this video, but keep in mind, Gymshark would be remiss if they didn't experiment a little bit. They wouldn't be an innovative brand if they didn't try new things. And keep in mind another thing, some people really dig this loud style. It's a representation of your personality and that's what style is in general. With that being said, have you guys seen the new Vital that just dropped? I'll be having a video on all those new colors coming up very soon. They have a neutral palette, they have a ton of fall colors as well, real rich earthy tones. So right up my alley, I can't wait for that video. Let's start with the linear print. This seems to be the most talked about on social media and the ones people are vibing with more. This came in leggings, sports bra, and a shrug. I am so excited to see shrugs coming back. So I don't know if it's just me, but this particular pattern, I guess especially the color going on here, reminds me of the Apex. Everybody was a little Ooh, when the Apex first came out, but now I'm seeing people wear them regularly, so maybe we're slowly warming up to these crazy patterns, I don't know. This even has the same characteristics as the Apex, where if you stretch out the material, you can see like the lime green underneath. I don't know how that's gonna go around my meaty areas. They actually bordered these, highlighted the waistband a little bit, and of course, because it is still the Flex Collection technically, they actually still kept the big branding. Say what you will about the pattern, the design, take it or leave it, love it or hate it, there's one thing that we can't deny, and that's the quality. This is similar to the Flex that we all know and love. They actually kept polyamide in here. To me, it's very much a higher end material. It is thick. It is not a summertime set, for sure. When it comes to sizing, everything I'm wearing, the shrug, the bra, and the leggings are in a size small. I would say they're very true to size. If, and only if, you're in between, maybe size down. I wouldn't size up, only because there's not a ton of compression here. The Flex never really had 
that though. It's more of a moderate, but right around here, if I were to size up at all, this would just kind of be a little too loose. I really like the shrug though. Do you remember in around 2019, they were putting out a ton of shrugs? You had the soul lift had shrugs. Now we're introducing the what the flex shrug and it's just as thick as the rest of the set. But again, it's a shrug. So you got a lot of armpit ventilation going on here. They actually isolated the real heavy linear print to just the arms, which I think is a good idea. They thought this out because you already have the linear design all over the sports bra. So they kept it a little more subtle right up here so it's not too much in your face right up front. And same with the backing. They kept it very minimal. So the shrugs go up in the back like so, and then a little bit lower in the front, just enough to cover the sports bra so nothing's showing here. You go up like this, you do see a little bit of skin. I really think that the shrug was a good touch to this set. I think that if they went with a long sleeve, it'd be a little too much. Because shrugs are a little more spunky. Moving on to the sports bra, you got some adjustments on the back. I actually prefer this style sports bra over the OG flex sports bra. I know they're super similar, like this big band down here, but I like these straps a lot better than just the two. Another good thing is that the straps in the back are fully symmetrical. Something I noticed about this sports bra right in the middle. Look up close. Why does it look like it fades out? Now it's part of the design because it does it on the gray as well. So moving on to the leggings. Again, not a whole lot of tummy control. Keep that in mind. One thing I noticed the tightest region of this entire legging is my glutes. I feel like they're ever so slightly sandwiched in. If I had a little bit more material here to play with, then maybe I wouldn't have so much of a unibut. One thing Bay noticed is that it's not cellulite friendly right around here. Again, this is not a high impact set, so moderate support. I think a lot of it has to do with this color. It is so light on my bum cheeks that it's not really gonna conceal any of like the dimples and things like that. What are you gonna do? But what it does do is it conceals right down the legs where the linear design goes. Now you can really see what I'm talking about in this particular color with the stretched out look. Now I know that the apex is similar to this, where underneath, around the meaty areas especially, you can see the green throughout the fabric. I know it's meant to be like that, but for me, I feel like, especially because, like I said, you can see it around the super meaty areas of the leg, it looks like it's just being stretched out a little too much, and it doesn't look like it's supposed to be like that. <laughs> it just makes the legging look sheer. Right on the back, oh, that looks like, it looks like I really needed to size up like two sizes. But that's the thing, like, I don't. It's weird, the sizing is a little bit awkward in the sense that, like I said before, a little snug right around this region, but right here, not so much. I tried on the two different colors, they both fit exactly the same. I will say, it's decent in the stretch department. It's just like how Flex usually is with the decent stretch, but I am boiling in this because it's so thick. Now forgive me if you've heard me already say this before, but I think it's, especially important in today's video to mention this, if you head to Gymshark's website and go to their search bar and you were to look up a color that's in this set, you'll be able to get a full fledged like inventory of what they have in the color you're looking for. I think it's really important to mention here because I bet nine out of 10 people won't be wearing this as a full fledged set. Like for me, wearing the bras and accent piece is probably the most I will do. But it makes it 10 times easier to search for the color to see if maybe you have a piece already that would match perfectly. You don't have to go through your, your Gymshark stash and try to pull out and see what matches. You can actually just narrow it down to the color and find the elements that will match. The Cyborg also came in two colors. We're looking at the Maya Blue and the Charcoal. Very muted tones, but what I noticed is they kept that wavy design, okay? Now hear me out. Do you remember the wavy was like half and half with the contour on the buttocks? They kept that same element in this. Look at the opposite contour. Thank God it's a little more subtle because I wasn't about that on the wavy leggings. That was like too much. And I feel like they still kept that chevron element, that checkered look. I feel like with the cyborg pattern, they blended the two prints from the first What The Flex. So we have a little bit of wavy and a little bit of chevron in this. That half and half color block reminds me of a jester. You seeing what I'm seeing? The cool thing with the cyborg is they actually made the branding a different color on the back. So even though the checkered prints are actually a very, very muted reddish pink color, they went with a real hot pink on the back of this band. So this is in the Maya blue color. If you guys remember, 
from my Instagram stories. I got the Maya Blue pause set. It's in those flares. Now this would be an example of how to pair it. You could wear the flare bottoms with the sports bra, or you can do vice versa, wearing the crop jacket with the biker shorts. See what I mean? Starting with a long sleeve crop top. No shrug, just a crop top. I wish this was a shrug because I don't really, I never really got behind the flex long sleeve because it's so overwhelming me. Blech. Overwhelmingly hot. Now, it is a little bit long on the sleeves, just like the shrug. You have that huge open keyhole backing, just like the original flex. Asymmetrical sports bra underneath. Speaking of which, get this off here. My earring fell out. Damn. So again, everything is in a size small that I'm wearing, including the shorts. I know, usually I size up to a medium and tight fit shorts, but I remember the old flex cycling shorts. I was cool with my small. I didn't feel like I needed to size up. Glad I didn't because like I said before with the leggings, this just would be too loose. I usually size up because of the leg cinch. I'm getting a little bit of leg cinch. <laughs> but it's not enough for me to really need to size up. I'll take a little bit of cinching here if it means up here fits better. I feel like my glutes look plumper here only because of the design is a little more subtle. Whereas the linear just like boxes your cheeks in, kind of makes them look really small. This I feel like maybe it makes my glutes look a little bit wider and rounder. I don't know. Speaking of which, I almost forgot that these are two different colored cheeks. Can't really tell. Once I put them on, it just like spreads the color out a little bit better. Something worth mentioning is the embroidered logos throughout. They do not have the heat sealed printed logos on here. I'm very glad because if you look up close, the entire sets, I'm talking this entire range, has a little bit of a ribbed design, which is why the material spreads out and you can see different colors underneath like the linear. It's like a microscopic rib, but nevertheless, it's still textured. So a printed logo wouldn't work on here. They know better. They hooked you up with the embroidered throughout. It's not necessarily embroidered per se, but it is infused. It's knitted within. These seem to be a little more squat proof than the linear, or at least they appear to be because you don't have that material fade. So even though the tan linear made the butt dimples show up a little bit, we're pretty good in the cyborg gear. All right, so real quick, throwing on the gray tops. I don't have the bottoms to go with it, but it's totally fine. Just so you guys could see how they pair together. What's cool is if you do grab this black set, whether it's just one piece or whatever, you can easily mix. This is the easiest of the bunch to mix because it's just grayscale. So whether you go white to black to anything in between, you will find something to go with this. Keep in mind, they are launching some brand new black vitals. So if you wanna pair some bottoms with this bra, yeah, you could do that. The inevitable question, Ash, which design do you prefer? I think it's to nobody's surprise. I'm gonna go with the linear. Granted, they're both cool and unique in their own special way, but I don't know, especially this color, not even the green and black, I'm talking this color. It just, it spoke to me, which is why when I first got the package in, I, I put this one on right away. Now there's no denying that this collection is and probably will continue being the most hit or miss collection of all of Gymshark. I have to say, I do expect this to be a little more well-received than the first round, and I know that chevron design had a really slippery material last time, which you do not see in this collection. So I think the material is gonna be better received, a little more gym friendly. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, this was all out of love. We love Gymshark here. Let me know if you guys have any questions down below. Feel free to comment your thoughts. Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys so much, and I'll catch you in my next video.